it's time to debut the annual summer series 10 and 10 from Jerem Jordan. 10 lists in 10 weeks. It's Jerem 10 and 10. Let's try this is week one. We'll do the top 10 teams for you all you will face in 2020. Let's go. Left off the schedule. North Alabama live on BYU TV. Mm -hmm. And Utah State. I'm going to rough some Whoa. feathers with that one. Whoa. Number 10, Northern Illinois. They went 5-7 and seven last year under first-year head coach Thomas Hammock, who's the former running backs coach of the Ravens. This is a program that at one point won 57 games in five years. Former Cal quarterback Ross Bowers, who didn't play against BYU in 2018, is back for a second season there, sixth college football season. And second in what city? DeKalb. Four starters returned on the O-line behind unproven running backs. This is a revenge game from 2018. It'll be in Chicago. Um, I, I don't have an issue with Northern Illinois number 10, but I just can't believe Utah State's not on the list. Who who should I put uh, behind them? That's Probably. the question. Number nine, Houston. People expect Houston to be good at some point. I'm not, I'm not sure it's this year. They were 4-8 and eight last year. Injury riddled. De'Eric King transferred. Clayton Toons to clear quarterback. Four Power 5 transfers eligible to play in the secondary after a bottom 20-year in scoring yards and pass yards allowed. I think Houston will be better, but again, we're going to go down this list. Tell me why they should be higher. Uh, because they're better than San Diego State, for one. Uh, Houston, Are they? Yeah, I think so. Houston's a – Why? They're a 60% favorite to beat BYU in Pro Bowl, according to ESPN's FPI. I, I think they're going to be sneaky. Yeah. Okay, number eight, Michigan State. Like, would you put them over Michigan State? Seven and six, 2019. ESPN FPI number 67 right now. New head coach Mel Tucker from Colorado takes over for Mark D'Antonio. Quarterback uh, Brian Lewerke graduated. New, new guy could be Rocky Lombardi, perhaps the second greatest football name of all time to Dick Butkus or freshman Peyton Thorne. Defensively, three starters back from a top 20 defense. Spartans have the, Spartans have the same record as BYU the last two years, 14 and 12. Number eight, Michigan State number eight, Houston nine. First year head coach. I think they're figuring it out. Ooh. Number seven, Mizzou, six and six last year. No bowl game due to a one-year ban. A rogue academic tutor fired Barry Odom, hired Eli Drinkwitz from 12 and one Appalachian State. And yeah, that's how you say it. There's a four-way QB battle in spring. Front runner likely being TCU quarterback Sean Robinson. Running back Larry Roundtree at the third has put up 700 plus in three seasons. See, I, uh, I that's fair. Missouri, I think, is going to be a middle of the pack team that BYU faces this year, six or seven. So I'm, I'm on board with that. I still can't get over the Houston Michigan State or eight and nine. Number six, San Diego State. Aztecs oh. in the middle of the best run of wins since the 70s. 49 wins the last five, including 10 last season. Rocky Long. Back in New Mexico as the D.C. Brady Hoke is the head coach again after being the D-line guy. Last year's defense was legit. Top five in points, rushing yards, turnover margin, yards allowed. That won't be the case this year, but it's what they do. They have a good defense and a good enough offense. They have a new O.C. in Jeff Hecklinski. Carson Baker's back. He quarterbacked San Diego State to the win with 13 hole points. Uh, and Georgia Tech transfer Lucas Johnson is there as well. Wow, the Aztecs better than Missouri and Michigan State and oh, Houston. Power five bias there. Number five, Stanford. Oh. Cardinal were 4-8 and eight last year. They'll be better, but how much better? K.J. Costello transferred to Mississippi State with Mike Leach. So Davis Mills is the guy, but he went 1-5 and five in his starts in 2019. Doesn't help that Stanford isn't Stanford. They were 7th in the Pac-12 in rushing last year. 7th worst in FBS and offensive field position. Number 4, we got to go fast. Arizona State, 8-5 and five in 2019. FPI number 48. People are really high on them. Herm Edwards building something. They think they'll be good. I'm not sure they're 10 wins good. But Jaden Daniels was a freshman last year, 17 touchdown, two picks. Good He'll be way better. Number three, Utah. They were as high as five in the college football rankings last year before stumbling against Oregon and Texas. They reload. Jake Bentley transferred from South Carolina. Brent Keithy, legit tight end. Number two, Boise State. I think they're going to have a great mm. season. They'll be the best group of five team. They have Florida State at home, by the way, and BYU. Revenge game. Hank Bachmeyer's back. Uh, new offensive coordinator, eight. Eric Kiesaw, former Patriots offensive analyst. And the best team BYU play this year is Minnesota. Banner year, 11-2, best record since 1904. Tanner Morgan's probably the best quarterback. BYU will face 3,030 touchdown guy. They're going to be a top 25 preseason team. Yeah, I had no issues with one through four. These are some real fun uh, yeah, predictions there from 5 to like, 9. Utah State could be okay, but I don't see how they're in the top nine. And for the record, last year, you were pretty solid on six of the ten. I did the research and looked up your ten and ten last year. Mm. I'll take good. six. You only, you only missed really on one, and that was San Diego State. But who thought they were going to win ten games? I'll take six, man. I'll All take right. four for me.